everybody, and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be talking about two big storms that are on the horizon that'll be impacting much of the United States, and they might bring some severe weather as we go later into this week, with maybe another shot of cold air. But in the meantime, we will be dealing with a Arctic blast for parts of the United States, both tomorrow and as well as Monday, and as well as a big lake snow event. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's begin with what's happening across the United States today and we'll first begin with the Midwest and as well as the Ohio Valley which is pretty active right now we have a lot of rainfall and as well as a lot of snow that is falling across much of the Midwest this is all originating from a winter storm that we just saw in the Rocky Mountains and as well as the Central Plains that actually dumped upwards of 12 inches of snow in southern Kansas which by the way was actually more than I forecasted I really only expected about six to eight inches with maybe an isolated spot near 10 inches of snow but it did snow a bit more than forecasted which obviously if you love snow it should be sticking around for most of today and probably for at least tomorrow morning before it all melts off even parts of Oklahoma saw a few inches of snow as well which was in the forecast but again this system's moving off to the north and east it is moving pretty quickly now so it's not going to dump six to 12 inches of snow in the Great Lakes region however there will be lake effect snow both today and tomorrow across parts of western Michigan and as well as western New York and those areas could see upwards of 6 to 12 inches of snow, perhaps even more because of that lake effect snow that will be expected there over the next 48 hours. Down in the southeast, a bit of a different system down here, a lot of rainfall ongoing in the southeast, not really any severe weather by any means, but maybe a couple storms out there. Uh, that will continue over the next several hours, a lot of moisture down here in the southeast, so a bit of an active little stretch of weather for the rest of this weekend and as well as into Monday. Also going into the central and southern plains, again, that's where all the snow just happened, drier air is now moving in, and also much colder air wind chills down into the single digits this morning in parts of Oklahoma which was very cold and then back over on the west coast overall pretty dry right now but that will not stay that way as another storm is expected to impact the United States here pretty soon here's the satellite imagery and you might be wondering why am I showing you this well you can actually see the snow that's on the ground right now in the central and southern plains all of this right here is snow across Oklahoma this is all snow as well as the Texas Panhandle and as well as back through Kansas and the satellite imagery can actually see snow when you see nothing moving that is usually either snow or fog in this case it is snow and then back over here to the east that is actually cloud cover and also up here this is also snow across the Rocky Mountains yeah, as well as parts of Wyoming and Colorado so just kind of a little interesting thing to look at there here are the watches and warnings by the way across the United States a couple of things to point out in particular we still have our winter weather advisories ongoing in parts of Michigan and as well as Illinois and really far eastern Iowa and the main reason why is because we're going to continue to see some snow over the next few hours but overall most of that is winding down. Notice over here, though, we do have winter storm watches in effect for parts of Northeast Ohio, Northwest Pennsylvania, and even Western New York. Reason why? Well, that's because of the lake effect snow potential going into both tonight and tomorrow. And also notice winter weather advisories in effect in Northern New Hampshire and as well as Maine for some snow that's ahead. All right, let's talk more about the weather pattern that'll be impacting the United States because we do have two big storms on the horizon. And I do want to talk about these more in depth because these could be a couple of the larger storms that we've seen all fall long. It's been a bit of a quieter fall when it comes to large storms, but I do think these will be two of the bigger ones. So let's begin at least with the jet stream. These are your upper level winds. And again, right now we do have a low pressure system that is moving across the Midwest. That is bringing the snowfall, pretty strong jet stream overall, but that's the main feature that we have in the United States. But notice as we go throughout the week, that low pressure system moves throughout parts of the Northeast. And actually behind this is a pretty strong Arctic blast that'll drop wind chills in some areas down into the single digits, maybe even sub-zero in a couple locations. But notice as we go into Tuesday and to Wednesday of next week, we are going to be watching a storm that's going to come off the California coast. Overall, pretty defined circulation here over California by Wednesday. But what's going to happen is that this is going to move over the Rocky Mountains. And usually when we get these systems that are moving west to east, it can produce a higher risk of severe weather. So this will be something to watch for pretty closely, especially since we're going to get a lot of shear up the mountains. This is by the time we get into Thursday night to Friday, Arctic air mass is all the way back up here to the north but this low pressure system here is the one we're watching for going into Thursday and Friday across parts of the southern plains and as well as the southeast those will be the two areas to watch for behind this we have another low pressure system that's going to come right over the same area that's going to be in California European model has this going a bit more to the north and east toward parts of the midwest and that will be something to watch for pretty closely as we go into next weekend but I do want to you know kind of remind you we are still seven days out from that particular storm the one that has a little bit more certainty would be the one that's going to be impacting 
really more of the southern plains and the southeast by Thursday and Friday. Now let's dive into the future radar for the next several days and as we go into Monday that rain and snow event will continue across the northeast. Again winter weather advisories are in place for that snow potential in northern New England and I'll talk about more about that lake effect snow by the way here in a second. By the time we go into Tuesday into Wednesday high pressure dominating most of the United States. We're going to stay pretty dry I would say through the midweek. By the end of the week though by Thursday into Friday showers and storms will start to ramp up again across the southern plains and as well as the southeast. Now really there could be some severe weather out of this especially since we'll have ingredients like moisture and as well as instability and as well as a like pretty strong low level jet all in play. The thing is I don't think this is really going to be that far off to the north because of how cold it's going to be back up closer to like the Ohio Valley. If we were to see any severe weather on Thursday night or Friday it would likely be back down near the Gulf Coast perhaps even North Texas but I don't think this can be that far off to the north. More than anything we'll be looking up here to the north for more of just rainfall. It's not going to be any crazy severe weather event on Friday. Going to Saturday into Sunday it might be a bit of a different story though. I don't think we're going to see a significant severe weather out of this either but again we're still multiple days out but one thing that we'll have to watch for is the potential here for a winter storm or at least some sort of winter weather event whether that is you know again a few inches of snow or potentially a foot of snow that is a bit in question long term but there's a better chance as we get closer next week and maybe for some sort of winter weather event by the way here is the low level jet going into friday and as well as in really into late thursday night to friday again notice it's strong enough for maybe a low-end tornado risk across parts of the lower mississippi valley but again things are we're still several days out things could change keep that in mind we'll keep you posted with the latest and everything that you need to know again make sure you're subscribed to the channel and we'll keep you posted with the latest here's the future radar by the way for those in the northeast and this is the lake effect snow event that i was just talking about moments ago uh, as we go into tomorrow morning that's when this will begin across parts of the northeast mainly across areas like northeast ohio northwest pennsylvania and western new york a few areas in particular to watch for one of which will be back near watertown just south of buffalo and then back over near cleveland those will be the areas to watch for for this snow it's going to continue by the way all day tomorrow and as well as going into tuesday that should continue might even continue into tuesday evening and then it should wind down as we go into wednesday right now the hrr model is indicating the potential of upwards of six to twelve inches of snow in some spots i would not be surprised if we get a couple of areas closer to two feet of snow but that'll be more of an isolated amount overall across parts of new york now i do want to mention the temperatures over the next six to ten days as we go into early december they are actually expected to go back to above normal across much of the united states anywhere in that red would represent a likelihood of above average temperatures meanwhile over in the southwest we'll be looking at a bit of a different story with below normal temperatures in the forecast here are the temperature anomalies for the next several days below normal temperatures will continue across much of the central and southern plains a little cold blast or even an arctic blast moving across parts of the northeast and then once we go later into the week so by friday into saturday as we enter december warmer weather will start to return for much of the united states thank you so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you're not ready